Hi, uh, today we are going to learn context free grammar. This is type 2 grammar and the definition of context free grammar is E derive X. The production rule should be in the form of E derive X where A must belong to variables and X belongs to V union T closer. As we know, grammar has four tuples V, T, P and S. Variable, terminals, production rule and S for a star symbol. So, a, a grammar in this form where A belongs to variable and X belongs to V union T closer. So, this is known as context free grammar. It is free the left side of a derivation is free from this context what is in the right side you can directly replace a by x now we are going to see where this grammar is context free grammar or not let's check s derive a s a how many variables are used in this grammar only s how many terminals are there a and b and epsilon and this is the production rule and s is the star symbol so let's check where left side is a part of variable yes complete left side is part of variable right side is a part of v union t closer so we can see if s union a comma b and epsilon and we will take the closer of whole so we can find s a b s a a s a b s b in this format so right side is v union t closer so this grammar is context free grammar let's check this grammar total number of variables are s a and b whatever written in the capital these are variables and whatever written in the small these are terminals small a small b and lambda so we can see that left side is part of variable and right side is, is variables and terminals closer we can find the right side from the combination of variables and terminals now what is derivation production rules are used to derive strings the generation of language using the specific rule is called derivation for example let's this grammar there are two types of derivation leftmost derivation and rightmost derivation in the leftmost derivation if we use this production rule a a b so what exactly we have to check we have to go to right side and the left variable in the leftmost variable derivation the left variable should be replaced by next values so here we are going to replace a because this is leftmost variable in this production a should be replaced by b capital b and b so in the next term a b b b and b this is equivalent to a now in this complete de derivation leftmost variable is this b so now we are going to replace this b by lambda that is f sometimes it is used as epsilon so it is a b lambda so lambda b is equal to b so then directly we can use b because lambda b equal to b they are epsilon this epsilon b is equal to b now leftmost variable is b now we are going to replace this b again lambda so it is a b b so for this string it is leftmost derivation for now we can check the rightmost derivation if s derive a a b in the right side the rightmost variable is b now we can replace this b by next rule we can replace b by a or lambda now i am going to replace b by lambda a and lambda to so lambda a equal to that is a capital a so now 
in this derivation left rightmost variable is capital A so A can be replaced by B B and B so it is small b capital B and B in the rightmost derivation now in this production this is only variable we can directly replace by lambda so it is a b b so this is two types of derivation leftmost derivation and rightmost derivation from these derivation we can see derivation tree derivation tree so if we check this rule s derives a a and b for leftmost derivation this a because leftmost variable is a is replaced by b b b so now it is b b and b again leftmost variable is b it is replaced by lambda now this b is replaced by lambda this is leftmost derivation similarly we can see rightmost derivation rightmost derivation tree s derive a a and capital b and a derives directly lambda sorry a derives b b b so it is b not lambda and b capital b and b and this b is this b we can be replaced by lambda but it is rightmost derivation so in the rightmost variable is b so in the first phase of rightmost derivation first you will replace this b by lambda again you will replace a by b b b and again you will replace by this b by lambda so it is rightmost derivation thank you